and uh, not only there, but also in the fifth inning when it derailed a little bit for him tonight. Uh, yeah, to start with those first four, obviously those were really good. That may have been some of the best stuff I've seen him have. You know, aggressive. You know, getting ahead in the counts. Um, had his pitch count in a good, pretty good place. Uh, and then that fifth. You know, he gets the first, I think he gets Duvall. Um, they get the hit. Then we walk Arcia, which is, you know, you want him to attack there. But obviously, I think he walks him on four pitches. Uh, I think we hit Aredia after that. And just um, just kind of came apart right there. So, I, I don't know. I think we, you know, obviously we made, we had a 2 nothing lead. You'd, you'd want him to, you know, kind of be thinking it's, you know, we can we keep this thing in check. If they get a run, we're in the game. It's it's in the fifth. We're in a good spot. And I think it, at that point, I think it showed like not only his, but I think a lot of our our inexperience kind of popped out of there. Um, you know, I think Dela in center. You know, a little quick on that ball. Just thinking that we're there's no play at home. Just keep that thing and keep the guy at second. Um, and then the play with, with East was a tough play, obviously, but. You know, once you lose your balance, you probably would like to eat that one. Um, you know, and just, and just kind of keep the game in check right there. And it just kind of sped up. And that, was the, that five hurt us. We never really recovered from that. Did you consider letting him get through that jam? Or was he at a spot pitch count going through the quarter the third time where that made the decision for you? What was the reasoning? No, the pitch count was getting to a point. I think we had him at 90 tonight. Um, if he gets. Um, if he gets the pinch hitter at the nine, Adrianza, yeah, yeah. If we get Adrianza, we're gonna get. I'll give him Alves at that point. But when Adrianza gets the hit at that point, it's like it's, it's still rolling and it gets going. And we felt like that was the spot to to kind of pull the plug right there. And offensively, skip seventeen Ks. It's it's hard to muster much when when you're striking out that much. How much of a factor, right? Yeah, you know, we get the two early, and we had chances. Right, I think that's the the thing that kind of hurt you. Had some chances early to add on. Uh, if we could get a couple of big hits in there, you know, you get the bases loaded. I know, I know we had the bases loaded one inning in there. We we couldn't, you know, get that big hit there. Had another shot, even still at two nothing. I think first and third and one out. Don't score there. Um, you know, those is where you're going to tack on and and take the pressure off our, you know, off Trevor there, where you feel like you can give up a run. Um, so it just kind of got away from us. Again, we, we get the two early, weren't able to tack on and the fifth just got away from us. And, and that really ended up being the ball game. Yeah, hey, Daniel, with Trevor, how much you think just the struggles in the fifth, I know he got taken out his four and third last time also, just how much you factor in how the timing missed and him trying to get back into that game mode up here after missing basically the month? You know, I, you know, I don't know. I don't really think that's it. Uh, honestly, I think he just it just kind of got away from him, and, and he could speak obviously and tell you what he was feeling or what he was thinking or if anything was going on. But I don't think Trevor's the kind of guy that's going to make an excuse there. I just think the game was uh, again. You know, the double, the walk. You know, hit by pitch. All of a sudden, we they've got something going on. And this place gets a little rowdy, and, and just we couldn't get that big out. And then Jesus Sanchez, fourth home run, I think eleven games. Just seeing the power and seeing the seeing it coming more consistently from him as he gets down the stretch. Yeah, I think we've seen both sides of it, right? That that home run was big. He's he's seemed to scuffle a couple of days there back at home, um, but he's the kind of kid. He's going to keep playing um, again. I think this is going to be a really good year, good finish to the year for him, uh, from the standpoint of what he what he takes out of it uh, and brings back next year. Obviously, from last year to this year has been, you know, a vast improvement. So you're hoping that he continues to take those steps. Ben, um, according to the advanced numbers, your defense is strong, but of course, then there's all the errors as well. Where do you evaluate your defense at this point? I didn't hear the beginning. Ben, I didn't hear the beginning of that very clearly. Sorry. Uh, just advanced numbers have the Marlins as one of the better defensive teams, but then you have a, all the errors as well. 
So I was wondering where you saw the defense at this point in the season. Yeah, we, we've been a little rough, uh, honestly, lately. And, and we have been playing people in different spots to try to get information to our organization. Um, you know, we're, we're playing out far on the outfield. We're moving De La Cruz around. Uh, we're playing some different guys. Uh, but again, you can't make excuses. I, it, we just seem to be making some errors lately. Uh, overall, felt like we've been a pretty good defensive club, but we have been, um, it has been a little rough here lately. Said uh, that you had some of the best stuff he's seen in the first four innings. So I imagine it must be frustrating, especially with the bottom of the order kind of got you in the fifth inning. Kind of describe how the night went and sort of two personalities tonight. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, the first four innings was the best stuff I've had in a really long time since I've been back. Um, ball was coming out really well, uh, throwing changes for strikes, getting them down below the plate late, throwing some good sliders. And you get that first out in the the fifth and like let's keep it going and um just got away from me a little bit I think if a few missed calls there too didn't help um but you still just got a battle um and then with the bases loaded I, I really was trying my problem was I was just trying to do it all by myself really um wasn't trying to execute a pitch and get a ground ball uh which did happen it just it just found a hole so um Definitely a learning learning experience, um, something I can grow from and, and get better. There's the walk to RC, and that's probably where you got a couple of pitches, at least certainly one that, that could have been a strike, if not more. Does that bother you more than the hit or the hit by pitch to Heredia or, or both feel the same way? I would say it probably feel the same way. Um, really, what can you do, really? Um, he, he thought they were balls. I thought they were strikes. Um, disagree and you move on. Um, I still had to execute a pitch and I didn't. Uh, so that, that falls on me. I got to do better. Um, so yeah, it's just something you just got to learn from and get better at. Yeah. Hey Trevor, when you say the stuff was getting away from you in the fifth, is it mechanical? Was it getting tired as the game was going on? What would you attribute that to? I think probably getting away from it was probably a bad way of putting it. It was more of, I was just, I wanted to do it all by myself. You know, those first four innings, I was just, I had great stuff, was just dominating. Um, and then you get into a tough little jam and you kind of get selfish. Uh, you want to do it by yourself and get it out by yourself. Um, so it was just a good learning, learning experience for me that I need to uh, really just take it pitch by pitch, slow the game down a little bit um, and, and execute. And then just curious, in the first inning, that at bat with three, I think it was 10 pitches. Your perspective, what's that like going head-to-head -head with a guy, fighting off him, fighting off everything, and just going through that type of motion with a guy like Freddie for 10 pitches? Yeah, it's, it's a battle. I mean, he's probably the best two-strike hitter I've ever faced and probably will ever face. Um, so I, I love facing him because he's going to challenge me uh, and, and make me better. Um, I really... I executed a really good pitch down the way, and he slapped it that way. So his hand-eye coordination is unbelievable. So, I mean, when he's hot, you really just – hopefully you uh, get a ball on the ground and you can get him out that way. And <laughs> there were not a lot of sliders, but heavy on a changeup today, was that part of scouting report against the Braves or something you're looking more to do going forward? Yeah, it was more kind of a scouting report going into it. And – uh it was just, I just felt really great. Um, they didn't have much answer for it. So I was just going to keep throwing it until they uh, told me otherwise. Um, mixed a few sliders in there just for something they, uh, that they haven't seen before. Um, but change up fastball mix was, was uh, key today. I think